Stephen Curry, NBA superstar and unbelievable golfer. Let's take a look at his golf swing and the setup. Everything looks to me like it's pretty sound. We'll say that the butt is quite far over the heels at setup, but he does move his body pretty well. And so that would be my only concern was if he wasn't moving his body as well. But from the setup to the takeaway, he gets the club into some really nice positions early on. That position there is very similar to many great tour players. He started to get rid of the flex in his right leg and then start to add some flex into that left leg. You will notice that he doesn't get that big of a hip turn. The right hip pocket does get around himself, but it doesn't get around himself as much as what it could. However, the more important thing that I want to talk about is the shaft angle and this wrist angle at the top of his backswing. You'll see that his glove hand is in a slightly cupped position, meaning the knuckles on the left hand are curling closer towards the top of his forearm versus the underneath of his forearm. And what that's going to do is open the club face slightly and point this club more out to the right. Now because Steph is an athlete and he's able to manage his body very well in order to produce the shot that is necessary or to achieve the goal at hand, he does some things late in his downswing that allow him to play really good golf. And that's what I want to point out because from transition into the downswing, he does get this shaft pretty steep. In this position here, a lot of times you'll see that shaft position be outside the ball line or even on the ball line there. But Steph's is quite vertical there. And that's coming from, like I said, the similar movement at the top of the swing where that left wrist is in a cup position. And also his trail um, somewhat gets a little bit behind him. It doesn't really look too bad in that photo. But I have seen other swings where it does get trapped in slightly behind seam line. Now this is the money move that Steph does that allows him to play really good golf. It's from this position all the way up until that position there. So what you'll notice is that left wrist is now flexed or it's work, working towards flexion. Think that knuckles on your hand curling towards the underneath of your forearm. That's what Steph's doing in order to get this club to work more behind himself so that when his body rotates, that club isn't pitching too far out to the right and then cutting across it from there. It also gives him the ability to close this club face and present some shaft lean so therefore able to compress the golf ball nicely. As he gets into impact, there are some extremely great things going on here. The hips have started to rotate open. There is not an excessive amount of side bend here and his chest is starting to open up as well. As we take it to the follow through, once again, an unbelievable position there. Body is functioning very well. A passive release, that club is exiting nice and low. The rate of closure is pretty minimal, definitely. Club face is closing, but he's able to control it with his body motion rather than his hands. And there's pretty much no reason why Steph can't be as good as he wants to be in golf. Now take in mind, Corn Ferry players and PGA Tour players are on a different level than what Steph is. Week in, week out, these guys are competing and working their asses off to be better golfers. Steph is an extremely good golfer, but I really just don't think he is at the level of Corn Ferry or PGA Tour. But why would you need to when you're an NBA superstar?